Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we're going to be replacing an evaporator coil. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Safety is always first and we're going to begin by turning off our disconnect. You have your own entrance to this unit. <laughs> All right, so let's open up the panel here. We're gonna begin by recovering refrigerant from these two circuits here. So you can see we have two compressors and these are two separate circuits. This is a package unit. This is the cooling side and this is our heating side. It uses natural gas. So let's start by recovering our refrigerant. Let's begin this recovery. While the refrigerant is recovering, we're getting access to the coils. As you can see, we have two expansion valves, two filter dryers, distributors. It's actually two separate circuits in this coil. Once the refrigerant is all recovered, take off all the mounting screws, take apart whatever we need to take apart, you know, isolate our circuit. And now we can slide this thing out. We have the new coil in the hallway and it needs to be brought up. We remove the top cover, gain access. The refrigerant is pretty much done recovering. I'm gonna cut back on some of this insulation so I can cut it in a neat space. I'm gonna cut out the refrigerant piping that we don't need and we're gonna try to slide this thing out. Uh, we took off the cover so we can gain access to some of the screws as they're on the opposite panel. So we're taking off some screws and we're going to disconnect the piping. Alright, so cut back the insulation. Here are the sensing bulbs. We're going to get rid of those. All the screws are out for the coil itself. We're going to cut back the pipes and this thing is going to be ready to pull out. Alright, so the thermal expansion valve. Here is our liquid line dryer so this is our liquid line comes in and we have a pressure drop this is our external equalizer as you can see goes onto our suction line and we have an extra pipe here which is going to be our bypass so let's cut it out so we're going to cut the top of the dryers so our both liquid lines it's going to go in space So let's start by cutting these. The liquid lines cut, got the bypass cut, and we got the suction lines cut. Looks like everything else is loose, and all we gotta do is pull out this coil and it's ready to come out. Yeah, I got the wires. We're good with the wires. You got it? Look, on the other side. I got it, I got now it. Now bring it down like that. Let's get, let's put the soles on. We're going to carry this down in one piece. Bring it down. Let's get down in one piece. Okay. All right. The coil is free. Let's clean up this area pan is completely destroyed we're gonna go with a new condensate pan and uh, see how we get that together we have to make one custom and um, continue with this coil job we need that first all right so we got a brand new pan made up everything is Nice and welded with the fitting already coming out. And the opposite end has insulation. This is great. We'll start by putting that in and then we can focus on bringing in the coil. I right, put a layer of this sticky gunk. 
This stuff here is great, so when we put the pan along the side, we just have some screws on the edge so the back side is protected. This box is like completely destroyed, but this is called cork tight. This stuff is really good. So we have it along the edge. We're gonna lay the new pan in place, zip in some screws, and then on top at the edge, we just like silicone it and waterproof it if you want, if you want to, but honestly, you're gonna be good. People are rich. I don't want more. So they're perfect. This lines up really well. Yeah. Right there. That's real nice. It's gonna work out. together start building our expansion valves and things of that sort so let's focus on the pipe work get this thing piped in but first we're gonna block the lines with some nitro before we start brazing These are our external equalizers. Here's the new expansion valve. This is a thermostatic expansion valve with external equalizer. They're gonna go onto here. Here's our two liquid lines. So we're gonna install our filter dryers and our expansion valves. And this right here is a hot gas bypass pipe. So let's get that all configured and braised. one this expansion valve and we're almost there here's a nitro we check that circuit if that circuits good then we're gonna dump the nitrogen and put it in a vacuum yeah. 
So we're gonna check the leaks. If there's no leaks, we're gonna dump the nitrogen and put this in a vacuum. We're just checking all our brace connections. All right, we're dumping the nitrogen and we're gonna put this thing in a vacuum and complete the other circuit. Everything's just about done. We're gonna put nitro in this circuit now. We have the other one running vacuum. So now let's charge up this circuit. All right, so we're pressurizing the circuit, charging from the high side. As you can see, the pressure is coming up from the low side, and we're gonna leak check our circuit. All right, no leaks. We're gonna dump the nitrogen. Put this circuit in a vacuum and continue. Right, so we're dumping the nitrogen in this circuit. We have no leaks. And that's pretty much it about how you install the coil. We're gonna have both circuits in a vacuum once this is done. Releasing the nitrogen charge. And that's about it. Here's external equalizers piped into the suction line. We got our hot gas bypass, we got our two new filter dryers, we got two new thermal expansion valves. The bulbs, like I said, get strapped to the suction line just like this. The next one needs to be strapped, you know, put the filter rack back on, the roof for the unit. And that's pretty much it, that was this coil job. We also got a new pan. Once we put the covers up, then we're gonna build the drain out. We're gonna use PVC, you know, we're gonna build a trap Make sure this thing drains properly. And that's it. If anybody's found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.